Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, we talked about internet speeds, and I had a lot of comments, actually comments from people that actually work also for internet service providers that have to take calls from uh, clients and people that just don't understand why they're not getting the top speed that they're promised. And it, it's a tough one for these uh, guys to talk about because people don't understand their technology. And they will blame the ISP way before they will blame their own equipment. Yet the equipment, especially when you start getting at a very high speed, is the number one problem for speed most of the time. So to give you an idea, um, I posted a video last week or the week before about speeds and how my Wi-Fi adapter had to be, you know, really uh, at least Wi-Fi 6 to really get the possibility of moving on to the gigabit internet that I have. But you know what? Uh, even with a good Wi-Fi adapter, I had a hard time really reaching the top speed. So I actually purchased an Ethernet cable, gigabit internet cable. So that's why here, instead of Wi-Fi, now I have this icon because I am plugged in. And when I'm plugged in, if you look at Ethernet, you'll see that my link speed, look at the link speed here, 1000, 1000, this is one gigabit. And because it's a cable, there's pretty much no loss. I have 25 feet of Ethernet cable from the modem to my computer, which is short enough that it actually is great. So now, if I do my speed test, uh, it really truly gives me, and here's the uh, result of this, the speed. So my ISP rates the download speed at a maximum of 940 megabits per second and the upload speed at a maximum of 50. This is the rating I got on my internet connection. So I'm reaching full speed. You can see here on 942.59 download, 56.4 upload. It's really the speed that I pay for. So it tells you that you have to really connect in very specific ways. And when you start reaching the gigabit speed, reaching reaching it on Wi-Fi is a tough one. And unless you've got some really recent hardware, um, you will never reach the speed of your ISP if your hardware isn't up to date. And that is one big problem. People don't understand that. People think Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi, and that's it. Well, Wi-Fi is more than Wi-Fi. It has protocols, it has different technologies, it has generations of Wi-Fi. There is a need to upgrade that all the time, especially if you want to follow speeds of your internet service provider. And, you know, people tend to think that, um, you know, they'll just get that better speed and it's going to be there. But most of the time, your hardware cannot actually work at that speed. The other big problem is people have the impression that if you have faster internet, all of their computers are going to be faster everywhere. Everything they're going to do is going to be faster. Nope. It has only one place that it's faster, and it's when you access the Internet with a browser or when you download files. The rest of your PC itself, the speed of the Internet, has no influence on the speed of the computer. It's very, understand, very important to understand that, too. And the last thing about the speed of your computer, if your PC is a little old and it's bogged down, it will never reach that speed also because it just has to do too many things in order to actually keep up with the speed of the internet you have. So that was a little update uh, concerning my gigabit internet connection that I now have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.